Hello Booktube, my name is Elizabeth. Welcome to my channel, Bookends and Books. In today's video, I will talk about the longest non-fiction on my TBR. And the reason I want to do that is so that I can convince myself that they are not that intimidating, that it's not because they're long that they're not good or that they're difficult to read. So I'm going to present you the longest book on my TBR, the longest non-fiction on my TBR. There are seven of them. Now, um, they look very intimidating, but when I look at the number of pages, it's not that bad. The shortest of the longest books on my TBR is this one, The War That Ended Peace by Margaret Macmillan. I did start reading this one. I made it about halfway through. Um, there's a bookmark at page 348. So that's more than halfway through because, okay, the, the number of pages in nonfiction can be tricky. So I included two numbers. So the, the text ends at page 645, but if we include the end notes, the bibliography, the index and everything, it is 739 pages. So if we include just the, the main text, it's under 650 pages. So it's really not that bad. It looks worse than it is. And it was very interesting. I don't know why I stopped in the middle like that. Probably because I found something else that was uh, that 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 I was more attracted to at that time. Uh, but uh, there's really no reason why I stopped reading it. It was very good. So if I pick this one up again, and I will probably pick this one up again, otherwise I wouldn't keep it. I will probably just skim the first half that I've read and uh, start reading it. Uh, slowly and attentively uh, for, for just the second half. So this is probably the least intimidating book on this pile because it's already half read. The next one is something that I bought for my own birthday this year, but I haven't read it yet and it's not translated in English, but I'm going to present it anyway because it's there. It is Miroir de la Musique. It, it looks fascinating. It is um, making links between music, classical music, and other arts at the same time. So basically, it's kind of like um, kind of like a, a bit of art history where everything would be linked together. So music and painting and sculpture and various artistic movements. So this one focuses on the 19th and 20th century. So this looks fascinating. And that one is 695 pages plus annex is 728 pages. Next biggest book on my TBR is Gödel Escherbach and Eternal Golden Braid by Douglas R. Hofstetter. And this one won the Pulitzer Prize, so it's supposed to be very good. It has 777 pages all included and the text itself ends at page 742. So um, it, it, it's not quite a mammoth because a mammoth is supposed to be 800 pages and I'm still not into mammoth territory. And this one also has quite a few illustrations. Oh yes, these ones are gorgeous. Wait, 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 I should prepare a little bit more. There. So that, these are drawings by Escher, and Bach is the famous uh, composer, and um, I don't even know what it's about. Uh, because I, there's just a bunch of praise at the back, there's no summary. I don't know why I bought it. I, I'm pretty sure I heard somebody talk about it, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it, because uh, the, the summary at the back just tells me absolutely nothing. Uh, maybe it's a book about thinking. Thinking about thinking, about creation, creative thinking, about, uh, um, yeah, I suppose it's about that. <laughs> so if you've read it, let me know in the comment what it's about. Um, the next longest book on my TBR, and perhaps the number of pages is a bit um, inflated because it's in mass market paperback, but that book is... Is, is, is 747 pages plus annexes at 793, and it's the first volume of the Memoirs Beyond the Grave by Chateaubriand. And there are four volumes. So I don't have the other three, I just have this one. I still have not read it. I started it when I received it, and it starts um, 
because Chateaubriand himself started over again. So I started at the beginning and apparently they put at the beginning the first version of Chateaubriand's memoirs and uh, then he started over again. So I, I sort of had the feeling like I read the first, um, the first 150 pages for absolutely nothing because uh, Memoirs of Beyond the Grave, book one, and we are at page 184. So that means the first 150 pages were just the draft version of the memoirs from Beyond the Grave. So I felt a bit cheated and that's when I stopped reading it. So if I was to reread it again, and I will reread it again, this time I will start directly at page 155 and read the final version, not just the draft. <laughs> The next book, the next longest book, now we are firmly into mammoth territory. This is 894 pages and it is The Seven Pillars of Wisdom by T.E. Lawrence. That's the famous Lawrence of Arabia. And yeah, the, the picture on the cover is that of Peter O'Toole in the movie. So um, I know the movie. I don't know the book. I haven't read the book. So it, it looks very interesting. Um, I know Steve Donahue praises it, so it, it probably isn't bad. Um, so um, yeah, it's really just the length that is a bit intimidating. That is almost 900 pages. It is the length. The problem is the length. Now, the two longest books on my TBR in nonfiction at Hold on a second. At 908 pages, plus the appendix that brings it to 1,007 pages, is Dreadnought by Robert K. Massey. Um, I have to admit, I'm dreading the Dreadnought. <laughs> uh, it looks, it's a period of time that I am interested in, as you can see uh, with uh, the war that ended peace. This covers the same time period of the years preceding World War I. It's a fascinating period. It's one that I did study a little bit at, in college and university. Um, I'd like to know more about it. I know that Robert K. Massey is a writer that is very good, though I've never read anything by him. Uh, he's supposed to be very readable and make his subject completely fascinating. I am nevertheless intimidated by the number of pages in this book. And finally, the longest book on my TBR at 945 pages of text and 1077 pages with annexes. It's a biography of Beethoven by Jan Swafford. I normally, normally being pre-pandemic times, I go to concerts very often. I love classical music and I love to know more about the composers. And this biography looked just fascinating. However, since the pandemic, since I don't go to concerts anymore, since uh, I don't play music myself anymore, it feels, I, I, I'm a bit less interested in music, eh? that there's a bit of a distance between the music and me, and uh, yeah, my, my interest has waned, has waned a little bit. So uh, that, that is why the book is lingering on its shelf. It's because I don't know when I will be able to attend a concert that will feature Beethoven again. Uh, there are concerts going on, there are tickets on sales, but I don't want to buy them because I'm afraid it's going to be cancelled. Uh, I'm still a bit apprehensive. Also, if I'm not worried for myself, I am vaccinated and I don't have any uh, particular condition, underlying condition. I don't want to bring potentially COVID to people who might be more vulnerable. So um, I'm very apprehensive about that. So I'm still not going to concerts. So all that to say that perhaps Beethoven is a bit less attractive than it was uh, a couple of years ago. So that, that is why the book is on my TBR on my shelves and because it's 1000 pages long. So that is the longest nonfiction book on my TBR. Let me know in the comments. Have you read any of them? Do you think they're worth it? Uh, I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. Otherwise, I wouldn't keep them. I wouldn't buy them. But uh, yes, yeah, so let me know if you have read them. And let me know what is the longest nonfiction on your TBR. And I'm curious about that. And thank you, everyone, for watching. I will see you in the next video. À la prochaine!